You know, actually, I have not been to the beer garden. Damn, that's real. I haven't had any beer at all. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm slipping. Universal FanCon is a brand new convention coming to the Baltimore Convention Center in April of 2018. FanCon will be a round-the-clock event featuring comics, cosplay, gaming, celebrity guests, music, and more with a focus on diversity and inclusion. Get your tickets now at UniversalFanCon.com because geek is universal. I'm Chris Yuminga. And I am Chris Yuminga. No, 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 I'm Jim Fletcher. And I'm Jim Fletcher as well. <laughs> Welcome. To Five Points Fest. I think it's a, an amazing collection of a really vast array of different art and different art styles. Five Points Fest has been great. I mean, I didn't know what to expect coming in here, being the first service show. It's at a really funky part of New York, but it works really well for, I think, the event. Yeah, it's a great collection of eclectic artists, different art styles, different art, different toys. It's been a really great first year, so like, I can't wait for next year. Yeah, good turnout. Yeah, yeah awesome turnout. I think that everybody that we saw come by was really happy. They were energetic. They liked, they liked seeing the DC stuff, too, in, in a style they weren't used to, Yeah, which was great. That's why we brought people like you along to help us figure it out. Everyone's been really supportive and nice, and it's, it seems like a really great community of collectors and and people that are really enthusiastic about, you know, their fandom and, and you know, getting a lot of compliments about what we're doing together. Yeah, so. super cool. We're excited to show these pieces at Five Point. The first time they've been seen, you'll be able to pre-order them soon, but they're not quite available yet. Um, but Chris has one more of these coming out. We're only showing two at the yeah, show. Yeah. There's Superman and Batman, and I'd love to talk about the other one. What could it be? I don't know. It's a very special guest. <laughs> special <laughs> guest. <laughs> Uh, I'm Brandon Montclair. I write uh, Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur with Amy, and I write Rocket Girl. I'm Amy Reader. I co-write Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur and do covers, although I just recently stepped down, so now the regular artist is doing covers, Brandon's writing, and I draw Rocket Girl. I really like the crowd, and like I like to be able to, you know, you always need a break at a convention. These are like the breaks you want to take, because like, oh, I'll take 10 minutes, and there's... I go down uh, aisle uh, B instead of aisle D, and you see a whole bunch of cool stuff. With all the toy designers and uh, the uh, different kinds of um, uh, people with pins and buttons and all the kinds of tchotchkes, it's been pretty cool. Yeah, I, I think it's pretty cool. I think the, uh, well, I really like the kind of cult toy stuff. I, I just really appreciate it, so I'm glad it's here. I'm glad that we're cross-pollinating. I think they up our cool factor. I think it's great. I think it has something to offer that's different from the typical convention. Our next book's going to be a team-up. It's going to be Gunman and Carman. And they're going to... It's going to be... I told him I didn't like uh, drawing guns or cars, so yeah. that's why he came up with the story, because he, well, you cause he be, cares. You need to be challenged sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Moon Girl and uh, Devil Dinosaur, the new arc starts later this month. So okay. May's issue is uh, Girl Moon, and uh, that's the one after Amy has stepped away, so it's just me and Natasha... And it's cool. Awesome. They go. Uh, she goes off to an adventure in outer space and uh, finds something. Uh, find somebody who she thinks is going to be like her, and uh, they get them to kind of mix it up. So it's a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to it because uh, the smartest there is arc. She was meeting Doctor Strange and Iron Man and uh, the Thing and everybody else. This is j- and the X Men. This is just kind of her and Devil Dinosaur having. Uh, a pretty cool uh, long form adventure and I'm really looking forward to it. Rocket Girl uh, was a bit late but uh, we we finally got done with the second story arc so that's rolling out this summer. Uh, there's going to be some huge surprises there and uh, and then the trade will come out in December so I'm yeah. really excited. That was kind of a long time coming and I'm relieved yeah, that I, people I, get to see what we had planned. I don't know if you just mentioned but Amy's actually done with all the issues 8, 9, and 10. They're, they're drawn, mm-hmm. they're colored they're lettered, they're ready to go, so they're going to be out uh, August, September, October. In time for uh, New York Comic Con for everybody to tell us what they think. Hi, I'm Javier Cruz Winnick. I am the author and illustrator of A Reason to Smile, Volume 1 and Volume 2. I was fortunate enough to be able to get them uh, funded through Kickstarter, and I'm here at the Comic Con right now trying to bring them to everyone's attention so that way they can find out and have a reason to smile themselves. 
I'm, I'm really enjoying Five Points Festival a lot. It's right down the block from my house. Um, so it's very local. I don't have to go and, you know, deal with the, the flights and the hotels and whatnot. And it's in a really good space that they always do a lot of events in this space, in uh, Basketball City. So this is a, it, it, they did a good job of putting this together. So it, it's not a wall-to-wall show just yet. You know, being the first year, I don't expect it to be as crowded as some other shows have been. But I feel like they've got a good vibe. They've uh, done a good job of getting a good amount of people on the door. And it's been a, a nice, uh, nice weekend weekend so far. My name is Sarah Woolley Gomez, and I'm an artist and illustrator. I'm Brooklyn-based. I'm also a professor, professor of illustration at New York City College of Technology, and I'm here at Five Points Festival having a great time. I think it's a really positive move that they've decided to create a festival that is unifying both the designer toy and uh, you know kid robot style of sculptural and character art with comics. It's a natural fit, um, and it's also really exciting as a fan to get to see such uh, artwork that I'm not usually around. Well, I'm selling my books here. I have so this is my newest one, the one that I'm most excited about. It's the 9th of April, and it is a standalone story within the Los Pirineos universe which is my family's immigration story from Colombia to the U.S. And this book just came out in April. You can definitely purchase it online at my website, uh, sarahwoolley.com. Hello, I'm Alisa Martinez, and I'm a comic book artist. I think Five Points will turn into a very big con, what Wizard World used to be. Did I say that out loud? Yes, I did. I'm very much hoping that it will take the place of New York Comic Con in the sense of being a con for the artists. Black Panther was a ride. Working with Marvel is always a privilege and an experience. And I'm hoping to make mine Marvel again. Next, I'm working on Lazarus. I'm doing a one-shot with Greg Ruka. About the art behind me, yes, this is my beloved foreign. As you can see on the flag, all of the characters come from the novella that I print and bind myself at home. I also have Yumi and Ever, which is my superhero title. Well, Yumi and Ever, the first issue is wordless on purpose because you're watching this battle unfold as they battle Pandora. Even Pikachu gets it. Look at poor Pikachu. He takes one for the team. But it slowly distills down to a single character so that by the end of the book, you're watching the lone surviving hero. Well, others survive, but he's the one that has to do the last of the fighting. And I'm going to tell you something certain that no one seems to notice about Yumi and Ever. At least I've never heard a single soul make mention. Ever is a black male. I think he flies under the radar, and he is the only survivor. That is kind of good, because that means people don't see it first. Yumi is a planted sleeper agent, and the only reason she's planted in Japan is because she has an Asian look. But she is not Asian. Yes, because Spanish people, like myself, come in very, very different flavors from the Afro look to a sort of Asian look. And I kind of want to illustrate that. Since we're speaking of race these days, Yumi and Ever and Foreign can only be brought at conventions for now because I print Foreign at home and get it ready for cons. Yumi and Ever, I print when I can because it's not kick-started. When I get the money together, then I print. My name is Kari Randolph. I'm a professional cartoonist. So far, I'm loving Five Points Fest. Uh, it's, it's pretty dope because it's like a nice intersection between vinyl toys and, and comic books and pop culture and everything in between. And um, this is the first time it's, it's happened, and I really like the vibe of it. And I'm um, hoping they do it again and invite me back. The response to the table has been great. Uh, I think it has been... Uh, like laid back it's not like New York Comic Con where it's like a constant onslaught of people but it's just like you get constant traffic people coming through asking questions buying merchandise like you're getting a whole new kind of people who are not used to your work because they might be toy fans and they're asking you questions about what you do and, and what you're all about and so it's like a it's a different audience than, than the normal Comic Con audience and for that I think it's, it's great and uh, we've had a great time so far I'm currently finishing up Mosaic uh, from Marvel Comics. Uh, next up, I'm doing a Ninja Turtles one-shot for IDW. Um, I'm doing a number of covers for, for Lion Forge's new uh, Catalyst line. Uh, and I'm also I'm in the beginning stages of starting up a new book right now that'll get announced probably over the summer and be out in like November. I'm Shauna J. Grant. I'm really enjoying Five Points this year. It's great to see more New York City conventions happening. 
This is my character, Princess Love Pond. She is from my webcomic, and it's a magical girl series. She fights with hearts and kisses. So I'm featuring that here, as well as a bunch of really cute illustrations. I've been to the toy section so far, and it's really cool. There are a lot of neat things here. I would absolutely love to come back to Five Points again next year. You can find me online at shaunadraws.com, and links are there to all my social media. Hi, I'm Amy Chu. I'm a comic book writer. I um, write um, Red Sonia, the Kiss comics, the DMC comics. Uh, Poison Ivy, you might have seen my stuff with Poison Ivy, and I got a little tiny something upcoming from Marvel, too. So. I have to say, I really like this mix of comics and toys, you know? There should be more of that. There's, like, people I recognize who I know who are kind of, like, regulars, who are comics people, but it is a different mix. There's people who are like, ooh, we sort of know um, comics, um, uh, but they're collectors, so they, they get that it's not just $3 comics. They, they want to collect some of the nicer variant covers, and that's also really nice. Oh, the little Marvel thing! I can, because I do believe it's been solicited, and it, it was solicited in such a way that it appears it's um, Misty Knight, but it's not. It is Emma Frost. Yeah, so I'm, I'm really psyched, and I, I just saw some of the thumbnails, and it's, it's, uh, it is very exciting for me, because, you know, it's a, it's short stories are challenging, but I love doing them, and especially with all female creators, um, you know, it doesn't have to be, but it is super fun when we get together and do something like like that. Hey guys, it's Jerome Walford here from Forward Comics. You know, it's a different kind of vibe. You know, it's very uh, mixed in terms of people who like toys and comics and uh, different other aspects of pop culture and geek culture, and uh, it's been cool. So yeah, we've been on a really incredible stretch this year. Uh, Guan has done far more than I thought it would accomplish, and uh, to introduce it to an audience here at Five Points has been amazing to see their response. It's more like a, a California grooving kind of vibe, you know, much more laid back, which is nice because sometimes when you do a big show like New York Comic Con, you get kind of burnt out, but this was much more... And just kind of stroll through, see what's going on, check out you know some new stuff. And uh, sometimes they find things, something that's new and fresh, and they, they jump right into it. There's a whole lot of things going on that I can't talk about just yet. But some very exciting things that are coming along. One thing I can tell you is that we're working on Volume 3 of Nowhere Man. I'm really excited to get back to that storyline. Um, so, yeah. I'm excited to introduce some things uh, along those lines later on this year. We're also working on uh, the second book in the Curse of the Griffin series. Again, it's a very nice show. I think it's going to probably do even better next year. My name is Ronald Wimberly. I'm a cartoonist. Uh, I really like Five Points Fest because... Um, so far, it's a concentration of uh, materials. It's comics, it's toys, it's not a bunch of other entertainment. Um, so you really get people coming through here who want to see comics or toys or like this type of culture. Also, what's great about it is it's in the middle of East Broadway, so there's lots of great food around. And that's like my priority when it comes to like conventions is food. The food trucks are pretty cool too. They're pretty dope. Well, today I'm selling my uh, standards, Prince of Cats, Black History in its own words and a little bit of something wicked also my gratin in t-shirts right here i got popping i am working on the same thing i have been working on which is sunset park and it's coming along i'm just slow yeah i'll definitely be be back at five points um i like the i like the people here i like the energy it's good